All right, guys, here's our inside portion. We've got two systems here, main part of the house and basement, and this is the bedroom side. The thermostat's in the master bedroom. That's what it's labeled for here. New furnace, new media, new giraffe, new coil. Whatever we do, depending on what they go with for furnaces, if they do both or just one, mainly looking at this system here. Uh, I like to tie in the flues up higher to raise this up so it's not a head knocker. We need a six inch cap there and those are both four inch. We had those capped off when we put in the tankless water heater about two years ago. Uh, humidifier will remount it's on the back side here. So we put that in recently, we can remount that. Floor drain is here. Walkout basement is there, so easy access to get down here. Panels here. So it's marked AC master and then AC for the other on the 30, but I believe those are gonna be backwards because the master is actually the smaller of the two AC units. If we do anything with PVC venting, we can go out kind of this side of the house over here. I'll show you outside. We'll have to cut the wall racks off, get rid of those. The line set's gonna be new. They've had issues with it leaking. All right, guys, here's our units outside. Bedroom side, main house on the back over there. I know before I mentioned in there, we cut the wall rack off out, but I haven't been out here yet. So being that it's embedded in here, we're probably actually just gonna keep this wall rack unless they wanna put it on the ground. So I'll put in the checklist what we're gonna do. And the line set actually comes through PVC, so I'm just gonna probably actually end up flushing the lines out. Model number on this one's hard to see, but H2RA030S06D. Now, this one you got street parking, drivers on the opposite end of the house. That's our PVC for the tankless water heater, so you can see anywhere along this wall we can come out with some PVC. On the main house one, it is H1RA042S06A.